Report Navigator. The following video was created for use with the Commander Site Controller and Ruby CI. The Report Navigator program is used to add, delete, view, save, and print reports. To begin, first log in to Report Navigator with a Site Management Suite user who has the appropriate access to Report Navigator. Report Navigator has three menus, Session, Reports, and Help. Session is used for logging in and out of the program as well as exiting the program. Help contains documentation information specific to the program as well as About, which provides information about what versions are installed on the terminals. Under the Reports menu, the View Report option allows for individual reports to be viewed from different periods and report types. Select the period type from the drop-down list. Select the time period that contains the report or reports you wish to view. Then select the reports from the list and press Add. Reports added to the right-hand side, Reports to be Processed pane, will pop up into separate windows when Process is selected. In order for the reports to display properly, Internet Explorer must be set as the default browser. If you wish to view reports from the same period in one window, a group report can be configured by accessing Reports and Configure Groups. Any group reports that are configured will only exist on the local PC that they were set up on, so be sure to do this on the PC being used to view the reports. Select Create a new group to create a new group report and Modify a group to edit an existing one. If a report needs to be removed, then select the Delete a group option. Under the Create a new group selection, name the group. Then select a period type. Report selection type can be set to Current, Previous Close, or Ask. Refresh of cache should always be set to Always. That way, it updates the totals from the local PC if any were stored there. On the next window, select the reports that should appear on the report and press Add to add them to the group. Select the Finish button when all the reports have been added to the list. To view the report, access the View Group Report section in the Reports menu. Select the appropriate report from the list. The reports can be printed from the local PC in the same manner information is printed from an Internet Explorer browser. To view reports that were previously opened on the PC, perhaps from a previous version that was previously installed, access Report Cache Management. It allows Report Navigator to retrieve viewed reports from the PC's cached reporting information. Two options are available. Use Current Report Navigator Cache Folder, which will pull data from the Report Cache Folder on the application that is running, and use All Installed and Previously Installed Report Navigator Cache Folders, which will retrieve all cached reports from all Report Navigator versions installed, including previously installed versions from Sapphire. To view the reports, either double-click the report or select it from the list and then press the View button. These reports can also be deleted if they are no longer needed to be stored on the PC. Deleting a reviewed report does not remove it from the Commander or CI. It will only remove it from the cache folder on the PC. Thanks for watching Verifone's training video on Report Navigator. Please check out our other informational training videos on Verifone's YouTube training channel.